Okay, more crops that do well in this high tunnels all winter long. Radishes, fairly common. We have Pink Beauty. And in the front there we have a uh, Nelson. I think it's a, is it called Nelson? Can't recall, but it's a red type. So both those do very well. And uh, another one of our main crops and it's high tunnel, something we sow at least every two weeks. Every two to three weeks are Hakurai sweet turnips. We sell them about that size. That's where, again, we uh, allow us to seed them very close together. Um, and they're very tasty. Chefs, customers at the market love these. Our kids love them. And uh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a tasty turnip. Um, and also, I'm trying to grow more fennel in here. Um, fennel does fine. You have to be careful when you transplant it. It's, uh, I transplanted these, and I know the fennel doesn't like to have its roots disturbed, so uh, we may be better off direct seeding this. But this, this time around, we, um, we did transplant it, but then we've had a bunch of bugs eating on these guys. And um, after some research, I realized it was the vegetable weevil. So to control that, I've used a product called Entrust. And it's uh, spinosad is really the, uh, the organic component in that uh, pesticide, and um, yeah, that seems to uh, seems to do really really and well. And that's legal to use and yeah, be certified. It's, it's, you know, it's uh, organic, certified organic pesticide. Okay, here we have cilantro. Now this is flowering cilantro, and I'm going to save this uh, for the seeds. Uh, cilantro grows great in here all winter long. Now it's been a bit warmer lately so uh, this would be one of the first things to bud out but the seeds are easily to uh, recover and we still have beautiful cilantro in here uh, it, but all winter long with, when it's cold it uh, handles the freeze very easily because it will freeze in here but this uh, crop here will, will do just fine. And, Let me uh, see it. And uh, so I d highly suggest to I'm planning on growing much more of this next winter in uh, one of these high tunnels. Okay, hi, this is uh, another greenhouse. This greenhouse actually we added this year. Like I mentioned before, it's called an added bay system, so we can, we could, we're able to add one more greenhouse. And uh, we can continue to do so as much as, as far as we can. Uh, but for this section here, it'll be, that'll be the end. Uh, so we added this, this greenhouse this winter, and um, we were a little pressed because we had all these beautiful lettuce in our seedling house, so we had to find a place for them to be planted. And so we We've been working this for all summer, um, or at least all fall, but we didn't work it long enough to um, to get rid of all the Bermuda grass that's in here. So we still have quite a few, quite a bit of Bermuda grass. So I hope that we'll be able to control it. I think with continuous uh, cultivation, we should be able to to kill it. Or we also may solarize it. Um, we may just put a uh, clear plastic that we. Uh, when, we're, when these uh, plastic covers are, are not, we, when we can't use them anymore, we can actually drop and put the plastic on here and solarize the soil. Uh, we keep the drip tape under it, under it, under there, under the clear plastic, so that we can um, add moisture to it. And uh, by solarization, you can definitely kill most of uh, most of all of the Bermuda grass in here. So if uh, you know if that's an option, we have. <laughs> 